Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age 2 Let's Play! So I might sound a little bit echoey because, well, I'm in a room with nothing in it. Haha! <laughs> Why is that? Well, because I'm moving very soon, so I have had to clean up pretty much everything out of this room. Because my landlord contacted me this morning and was like, I want to show your room this afternoon. <laughs> so I had to clean everything up. Um, yeah. Haven't been making a videos in a few days now, for those who are watching as these are being released. Because, well, that specific reason, I have been very busy. Because I'm moving in a couple of weeks. Um, and other things as well, I'm trying to remember. There's a lot of things going on at once. Oh god, these frame rates are horrible. If you've what got something to say, on? just spit it out. Are you sure you want to encourage me? I might be about to confess my undying love. I get that a lot. So, what's on your mind? I just realized it's been a while since any of the gangs in the Undercity came to my door. They're busy people. Places to go, throats to cut. Maybe you've slipped their minds. Right. The apostate running the free clinic in the sewers. Easy to forget. You didn't have anything to do with this? You must have me confused with someone else. I'm just a businessman and a storyteller. The Harbour Master's office filled the order. I just need a destination. Where are we sending it? The Viscount will not store raw lyrium in the keep. Then where do I put it? I can't just leave impounded lyrium lying on the docks. That's your problem. Flaming bureaucrats. The first enchanter has marked up these potions. Everyone's talking at the same time. I have no chance to say a word. Looks like we've already cleared out our inventory, so that's good. Um, well, there's this delivery the order here. I'm not sure what this is about. Written on the scroll are orders to move the impounded shipment of the Rod Lear. Everything is failed out except who to send it to. Okay. Um, are we getting good options? Okay. Write Conrad's name or leave the scroll alone. Um, who's Conrad again? This is the quest we have here. Let me take a look. I feel like that's something we need to know. Uh, it's been a while, like I said. I, I, it's been it's been a while here. Find ways to slander Sir. Okay, so okay, so we can slander him by writing Conrad's name on the this delivery order, which is now somehow in the ground and very difficult to click on. Um, as a disclosure, I am living in Canada, and I am Canadian. Um, well, more specifically, I'm French, but. <laughs> I live in Canada, and yesterday, yesterday was the 4th of July, and I have this awesome shirt, which is a denim shirt, with the American flag on it, the United States flag on it. Uh, let's talk to Moria here. Aren't you Hawk? Emmerich left not long ago. He said you'd arrange to meet tonight. Oh, are you sure? Perhaps you're mistaken. I am not mistaken. You sent him a message a half hour ago. Look. Someone's trying to sell it? I didn't send this. You didn't? Strange. That's not a good sign. Well, I don't know. Emmerich's been acting strangely for months. It's probably just a misunderstanding. Okay. Prime suspects here. We've got uh, what's going on. Find Emmerich in the alley outside of Lowtown. So someone's trying to maybe um, uh, imitate us and trying to get to Emmerich here. Um, and let's talk to this dock worker as well here. A message for you. About bloody time. We deliver the cargo soon as we've unloaded the Antivan Queen. Okay, so that's for that guy. Um, so I was saying that, uh, yes, 4th of July, and I have this nice denim shirt with the American flag on it. <laughs> and the funny thing is, um, I really like this shirt, it's really cool. And I don't know, I just like the American stuff. Um, and also it is, um, in, in where I'm living right now, it is Stampede, so that's actually the city of Calgary. In, Alberta and the Stampede for those who don't know it's a big outdoor show and it's kind of about Western culture rodeos things like that so fun times around and at work we're allowed to wear our Western you are very wear close for... to losing your printing blocks Barrick. once more I am falsely accused of whatever it is I am accused of falsely someone swapped the text of my recruitment poster with some filth from the blooming rose Ooh, that does sound pretty good Sure. Fill the barracks with whores. But you've also filled the rows with guards. It is true what they say. The best comedy comes from tragedy. 
Yes, indeed, and I have a few, quite a few different um, tragedy comedy stories, mostly involving me. Oh, we've got some uh, cards, I believe. Yep. Yeah. So let's go and fight these guys here, summon our Mambaris, and have some fun. So I was really wanting to wear this shirt because, um, like I said, at work we are allowed to wear our Western wear in uh, cowboy boots and jeans and all that lovely stuff. It looks like Aveline here is taking a fair bit of damage, probably because her stuff is not turned on yet. So. And Varric here is taking a brunt of the damage. Is there an assassin? Probably in... Uh, did we see? That is... Oh, okay, so there's the problem. There's an assassin. So, let's all move down here and try and kill this assassin. I'm gonna have to target him using our people down here. Okay, go kill that assassin. You go. Okay, Lee's just got dropped. Right, and Anders is all the way over there for some reason. Okay, I should probably stop talking and watch what people are doing. We're having a bit of trouble moving around for some reason here. Okay. Uh, this assassin here is rocking us or rocking our faces. Aveline needs to heal here. Um, so I really wanted to wear this shirt um, because I thought it was hilarious because I'm Canadian and I'm wearing this American shirt. <laughs> and it's really nice as well. Um, it's funny, one of my coworkers was like, if you wear this, I'm not going to talk to you. <laughs> I wore it anyway, anyways, and it's actually very fitting um, because of the Western wear. Um, here we're going to have to do a little bit of a, maybe a mind blast to get people off of um, Anders here. And uh, get it to pot as well here. Oof, our frame rate is not having a good time right now. And this is the point where I should uh, more than likely give Anders the healing stuff. Oh. Okay, guys, uh, we need to kill the assassin here. Um, hmm. Except we don't have any heals, and his mana thing is on very low cooldown, so let's uh, just keep running. Kill that assassin, please, you guys. You're almost there. Just do it. Just do it. Okay. Um, and he's probably going to kill Anders here. So actually, we can probably put Bodyguard on Anders, try and save him. Uh, but if he goes after Varric, well, Varric is just screwed. So how's our potion doing for him? He is not in a good spot. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Okay, so the... Uh, good. It went after... It went after... Evan. Which is excellent, that's what we want, and, uh, oh! Oh, I should've healed there. I don't know what happened. Okay, Varric, we need your help. Kill that assassin. Who potted. Great. And, uh, Aveline here needs to pot as well, because we've got no more people left. Um, I might want to use a confusion here. That might help a little bit. Make them fight each other. Oh! Varric is... Ooh, he's good, he's not dead. Oh, it's... Haha, <laughs> come on. You can do this, girl. And actually, we can probably stun it like this. If we do a nice Miami Flask, which just probably missed because he disappeared. Uh, who's next? Okay, you are. Let's move, 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 move. He's going after Aveline. It's good. And then we can do a nice uh, first thing over here if we can get everyone there. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, do we have anything else we can use? No, not really. We just need our stamina to come back up. Going after Evelyn again, which is good. She needs to pot right now, except it's on cooldown. Um, is there anything I can do here? Probably use Immovable here. Um, get Vark to keep moving. He's using his rhyming triplets, but it didn't work because I made a move. Uh oh, oh Evelyn, you need to pot for me. Okay, do it, do it, do it. And then uh, we'll use a stun here. Maybe on that assassin before he disappears. That would be great. Nope, disappeared again on me. Great, okay, so maybe we can uh, use a confusion on these guys. But if we keep running around, we can actually... Oh, shit. Okay, no, she's good, good. She, uh, she caught it, so let's kill that assassin. He's almost dead. And uh, maybe like a knockback. What? What's that? Come on, kill him. He's almost dead. Um... He's probably going to disappear once more. No, he's dead. Okay, great, excellent. And then we'll just kill these carters right I'm surprised we managed with just a few people. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when I talk about in my life while well, we're doing fights that are actually rather difficult. How's everyone doing? Good, good, good. Now let's uh, pop back up and give us a we, to need. we are probably don't need to go down here. We have a quest, but I'm trying to remember what it is in the first place. 
Nope, nope. I don't know what it is. I should have checked. But not to worry, I think we're all good here, right? And how's Anders doing? He should turn on his stuff. Okay, let's save after that ridiculous battle that we died to. Um, do we have to go somewhere else? I mean, there's a crate down there. Let's just check what that is. I feel like we were heading in the wrong direction. But yeah, it worked. I wore that uh, 4th of July shirt. Mm, I feel like it's pretty regular wear anyways. It's a very nice denim jacket with the flag on it. <laughs> um, and the person who said they wouldn't want to talk to me if I wore it was actually fine. They were like, actually, it's not that bad. So I'm happy about that. Did we... Uh... Yeah, I feel like we want to... I'm confused. Oh, no, we need to talk to Anders, right? It's one of the... Um... It's not a pretty home. <laughs> One of the quests. But at least it's clean. All right, Anders, what do you have to say for yourself? Or what do you want to talk to us about? Have you noticed how many Tranquil are in the gallows courtyard lately? And don't tell me I'm just sensitive to it. I've been watching, and every day there are new Tranquil selling their bloody wares. Good mages, too. People I know pass their harrowing. Um, isn't that against the law? Putting tranquils and... Well, I mean, like, the tranquil mages who are... Who are, um, unruly, so perhaps there's, um, yeah, what's going on? What's it to you how many tranquil there are? The Templars are using the right of tranquility to silence those who speak against them. Right, okay. They're working on a deliberate plan to turn every mage in Kirkwall within the next three years. And do you have proof? Let's... Yeah, why would they want to do that? Um... Then we should stop them from doing so. Who's behind this? Probably Cassandra. The plan is the work of a Templar named Sir Ulrich. I've had a run-in with him myself. He's the one who did the ritual on Karl. Nasty piece of work. Likes to make mages beg. Oh, that's not fun. Uh, tell me about this Templar. What else do you know about Sir Ulrich? The Knight Commander is at least sincere in her convictions. However misguided, she believes she's helping people. Sir Ulrich's a sadist. Cold-blooded as a lizard. He likes to experiment on mages. Find out what it takes to push them into the arms of demons. Mm -hmm. So you've met him then? What happened between you and Sir Ulrich? I've been involved with an... underground resistance. Mages living free in Kirkwall who help others escape. I can't tell you any more, for your sake and theirs. You have too much involvement with the guard and nobility. Suffice it to say, I've been in the gallows. I've seen his work firsthand. Right, okay. Um, I mean, not all Templars are bad. Yeah, we did have, uh, we did help some who wanted to help mages, so... Then perhaps the blame can be laid on him, and not every Templar. That's what I hope. If we bring the evidence of this plan to light, there must be men who'll stand against it. Perhaps even the Grand Cleric will finally be forced to act. That would be nice. My friends in the Mage Underground know a way inside. A secret entrance under the walls of the gallows. Come with me tonight, please. Help me find the evidence of Sir Ulrich's tranquil solution. Of course, I'll help you right now, I guess. I wouldn't let you face this alone. Running into this, okay. You are the one bright light in Kirkwall. I've always feared being made tranquil. Now, more than ever, I'm ready to go when you are. Our entrance is concealed not far from here. Okay, so it's our choice to go when we like to. Descent, sure. I mean, might as well, right? Because it's already here. This should be pretty interesting. Oh, I guess we totally missed this. Uh, this death route. Interesting. Maybe that's why the card over there, because they were guarding the entrance. Alright. I feel like maybe I'm jumping into something that's maybe really high level that we shouldn't jump into right now. Um, but... <laughs> I have a tendency of doing that in this game. Do not tell doing anyone about this way into the gallows. It's a secret that has saved the lives of hundreds of mages. 
All right. This is it. This tunnel will take us into the gallows. Are you ready to help me find evidence of the tranquil solution? You know, I think I am. Let's go. And we'll take our usual party because we're not forced to switch anyone out. Because we get Anders and Varric and... Oh, actually, I should have taken, taken Sebastian. I forgot about that. I bet Varric has that drum, which is actually probably... It tells you something of Kirkwall's attitude. That they house their mages in an old slave prison. Mm-hmm. It certainly does. So, we have different ways that we can go. But uh, let's head into the side rooms first and see what we can find. Some more spindle weeds, which is nice. Basically, we're just looking for loot and other things of that nature right now. Okay, yes, I was expecting some fighting right away, uh, but it should be fine. Just a few smugglers here, although we want to watch for an assassin. Oh, there's a foreman <laughs> who is kind of scary. Um, dwarf, okay, let's just see if we can't kill that foreman. For some reason, I can't target him right now. Yeah, I have to turn the camera at a weird angle. There we go. So let's see what we can do here. He is resisting something. No, it should be fine. And let's turn on our dog. I keep forgetting about it. There we go. Watch everyone's health. It should be everyone's doing okay. That foreman keeps healing though. Yeah. Anders is running around like crazy. Uh oh, he's got quite a lot more people here. That was a good confusion. I kind of wanted to use one of those right now. Okay, watch. Um, yeah, Aveline here is taking a little bit of damage. So let's give her a, a little shield. Probably doesn't really matter though. Come on, this foreman is just not dying. And Anders is running back and forth here, being a ridiculous, ridiculous little monkey here. Okay, um, I know that. Yeah, Varric here. Varric is taking. The brunt of the damage, so let's uh, barrier him and get ready to heal him. I don't want to watch. Yeah, I need to watch the foreman's health though, um, and watch Varric at the same time. That foreman's gonna go down. I'm just watching everyone's health. Okay, let's heal Varric. He is getting a bit low. Okay, now everyone is down, so now we can kind of uh, pick off people one at a time. I'm having some trouble trying to shoot them from the top of the stairs here. Okay, Varric's taking some damage again, so let's, um... I, I'm gonna wait to heal in just a moment. Um, he should be fine, but... Oh, this is a really good place to do a nice, uh... Like, burning arrow or confusion or something like that. Except he's got no mana. Or no stamina, rather. Uh, who do we kill here? Let's see if we can... Oh, is that another foreman? It is another foreman here. Okay, and Aveline here is just about to die, so let's heal her up and then grab Anders. And, okay, so we can't heal him yet. Because, um, there we go. She's taking a huge amount of damage. Let's try and kill that foreman with everybody. I need to switch to someone who can actually target him, which in this case is Varric. Let's do that. And then I'll switch back to, um, Lee's here. Uh oh. Looks like uh, Varric's taking a lot of damage. Let's just get him to heal up with a potion since we've got a few. I don't know why he's trying to like kill somebody on his own. It's a bit dumb, I think. Um, but let's just get rid of this guy so that he's not attacking Varric. And then kill that foreman. You know, a nice confusion would do quite nicely here. So let's see if I can't uh, use it without getting Aveline, Aveline here. Oh, this is annoying. I guess we'll just pick these two then. There we go. And now they're fighting each other, so that's nice. And okay, Anders is at the bottom of the stairs there, so I don't want to use uh, 
bad arrow here. We'll use a fire arrow. This will probably... Oh, no, 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 no. Anders, don't move. He almost ran into the fire arrow there. I didn't want that to happen. So let's kill that foreman. That mercenary was in the way, but that foreman is about to die. So we should be good as long as it doesn't pot. But this is actually a good setup. They're all on Aveline, which is excellent. That's what I want. She's supposed to just stand there and taunt them and get them to attack her while everyone else is doing work. It's kind of the concept of the Trinity, right? We've got our healer, we've got our tank, and we've got our damage dealers. Although one's kind of a hybrid, and Anders here does the healing as well. He's more of a buff machine right now, though, which is good. We've got everything. And there we go. Elegant rune staff, electricity damage. That's quite good too. Lyrium smugglers built these tunnels to service the Templars who crave the stuff. Mm -hmm. um, which way do we want to go? Probably the way that they came from, but it looks like it loops around. And this place looks like it might have more interesting alcoves and things like that. And that's where we came from, so let's continue. See if there's anything down here. I don't see any shinies, but it does go into the side here. And it kind of curves around to you. There we go. Um, I wonder if I can open this. Oh, we can! Nice. Love doing that. You love doing that. I love you doing that, except there wasn't really that much good stuff in there. Oh well. This looks like a prime place yep, for an ambush. Called it. <laughs> and our, these guys are immune to something. I think it's fire damage. Nope. Oh, uh, at least. Oh, I clicked the button there on my mouse by accident. I clicked group heal, which is actually good. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to heal up, so that works for me. Okay, let's try and kill those uh, poison spiders first. They have projectiles, which are nasty. I'm going to kill that poison spider, please. Thank you. Oh, and earlier in the episode, I was talking about moving. Um, so I might have at one point uh, the... like uh, My episodes will probably be a little bit... Um, not as frequent, uh, because I will be moving, which means... I will be kind of busy as well as uh, we're getting we're getting a different internet so I'm not sure how good it is well I know how good it is it's not as good as the one we have but it's free so we might try to try it out for a little bit and see um, see how how it fares um, hopefully it'll be okay and that's gonna be in a few weeks or so I'm very excited. It's a much nicer place, so I kind of deserve it. However, however, it's a lot more expensive, so I need to get a better job. Okay, more dudes to fight. That's good. More XP. Dun, 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 dun. Easy peasy. Let's grab, um, let's see if Aveline, okay, Andrews, get the fuck out so that Aveline can go and do her her work. Okay, there we go. And we've got some mercenaries. Okay, let's grab this mercenary here because he decided to come to us. And look, if there is a foreman, uh, we can probably take everyone out first and we'll take that foreman next. Um, okay. And let's grab that foreman now. It's not as big of a group this time, so I can target the foreman. The other group has way too many people, so I, I was kind of weary of those foremans. Uh, but the foremans don't have any sort of area of effect or anything, so they seem to be alright. But when there's like two of them on one person, it can be a little scary, so... Yeah. And there we go. Oh, I must have interrupted him by saving on top of his conversation. That's interesting. This is a nice little view from the bottom of the uh, mines that we were just at. I just want to check if there's anything here. Nope. 
Is there anything down in this corner? No. Alright. And yeah, I've decided to use Varric instead of Sebastian because Varric, like I said, has that drum, which means that he can. Um, it helps the party better because it's like an area of effect heal or an area of effect buff. Oh god. Uh, this is this was a problem in Skyrim as well, where if you had followers and ran into a little tiny room, and they would get stuck at the door and you wouldn't be able to get anywhere. Okay, uh, let's run back, turn around, run away, and then Aveline can go into the door. Like that, okay. And then we can just sit there and uh, attack them from here. Aha! Oh, except one got through. So let's grab everyone here and kill the one that got through. And we need to uh, help Avli now here because she is taking quite a bit of damage here and then we can just kill that one hopefully. Except Anders for some reason can't figure out how to attack that Foreman. Can you, buddy? There we go. Try and put as much damage on him as possible. Um, there we go. A little bit of a winter grasp and some uh, crushing prison. I'm really disappointed. The crushing prison's not as good in this game, but maybe it was a little bit too powerful. Anyways, like it was really, really, really powerful in the first game, so I can understand nerfing it a little bit to a certain amount. Right? <laughs> you want to limit limit your, uh, your strength. Okay. And is there another form? Yeah, there is. It's just around the corner, though. So this time we can um, kill this last archer and we're gonna remove hold position and get everyone to just move in so that we can kill that foreman. There we go. And um, actually, I think... Yeah, let's heal them up and then... Um, who's kind of stuck here? It looks like Vark stuck because the lady's stood in the doorway. Actually, because the dog is there. Uh-oh. And we can't control the dog. <laughs> I mean, I can call it off, but... Uh, and, well, I guess we're just... Vark's just gonna sit there being useless, which is kind of what he does usually anyway, so... <laughs> Nothing's much changed here. Actually, speaking of combat and different uh, different things, I've seen often during during combat that um, Aveline her her axe because I put spirit damage on it doesn't is often resisted by different things. Um, so I was actually suggested to uh, give her another weapon just in case, like as a as a temporary weapon, just in case her weapon gets. Um, not effective, which is basically what I do with my staff, so I should do that with uh, with a weapon if I didn't sell it already. I hope I didn't. Because um, then that would be nice. We're almost at the end here. It's pretty easy so far, but we might face a crazy boss. Yeah, a bunch of Templars. This might be nasty, so let's see no, what's going on here. please. I haven't done anything wrong. That's a lie. What do we do to mages who lie? I just wanted to see my mom. No one ever told her where they were taking me. No. No, this is their place. We cannot... So, you admit your attempted escape. You know what happens to mage girls who don't tow the line around here, don't you? Please, no! Don't make me tranquil. I'll do anything. That's right. Once you're tranquil, You'll do anything I ask. What's going on here? We're here to stop you. What are you doing to that girl? You fiends will never touch a mage again. And Anders goes ape shit. Okay. Uh, a few Templars. There is a hunter, though. Uh, let's grab that hunter as quickly as possible. Okay, and this guy has an aura. Okay, Hunter popped up somewhere, right? I, I saw him pop up. Is he gonna pop up behind us? Okay, so we want to dispel that aura as soon as it comes up, so I'm gonna keep pausing the game, and then now we can dispel the aura. Except Anders is dead. So let's revive. Heal him up. Ah! They're all in the lease. Um, mind blast, mind blast, mind blast. Um, where's that Hunter? Where's the hunter? I don't know. But let's uh, move Elise here so that we can go kill this guy. We actually did quite a bit of damage to him already. I'm just waiting for the hunter to pop up. I'm not too fond of him. Okay, let's switch to Anders here. 
Is that Hunter? No, nope. I don't know where the Hunter is. <laughs> okay, and then we can dispel his aura here in just a moment. There we go. So we dispel that. That worked quite nicely. And I hear the Hunter, but I don't see him. There's just a cluster of nonsense down there. There he is. Ha! He went after somebody. Whatever. Let's uh, see if we can have him. I mean, the, the all rip guy is almost dead, so... There we go. Oh, Hunter, Hunter. Okay, and then we can dispel his aura here. Actually, he got interrupted. Nice. So let's uh, kill Sir Ulrich here. And then I can actually dispel his aura. I want to do that. So dispel his aura. Hurry up, Anders. There we go. And Sir Ulrich is almost dead. So let's just finish him off. And then I know that Hunter is dispel. He's healing. Okay, of course he's healing. Wow, we are actually surviving quite well. I'm surprised. The Hunter's going after the dog, which is great. Okay, that's a grenade from the uh, from Sir Ulrich. So that's fine. We can still nuke him. And then we'll dispel his aura here in just a moment. I have to wait for him to cast it first. He's gonna die, so I don't actually need the dispel. And the Templar Hunter is going after the dog again and again, so this is perfect for us. And I'll uh, keep him in place with the Crushing Prison. And he should die here, but we've got a few more Templars, and there's another Hunter and an Archer. So let's grab that other Hunter. Oh, crap! Oh, shit, there's a bunch of shit behind us. Um, it's just a bunch of Archers, though, so we should be okay. Hopefully this doesn't hit um Varric here. Oh shit. Um, you know what? Let's run away into that room. Hold position. I need to heal at these right now. I'll just run into that room. Um, because what we need is to use our little... Uh, oh god. Move, 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 move. Move, 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 move. There we go. And who's still out there? Somebody's still out there. I bet you it's Varric. Nope, everyone's in here. Cool. Okay, we can do this. Oh, we can do this. <laughs> um, as long as Avalyn can sit there. Okay, that hunter went through. And I think... Um... Alright, let's see what we can do here. Oh god. Some of them are still getting through. That's... No, they're all getting through! Okay, this, this is not good. Let's just... Uh... Oh god, Elise, Elise, don't die on me. Uh, okay, so he needs to pot because we have no no mana left. And heal Elise up. Uh, let's kill the hunter. Kill the hunter. Let's put a pressure prison on it so it stops moving. And uh, just kill it. Uh, come on. Okay, there he's teleported again. Let's just grab this Templar. Oh, um, we should summon the dog again, can we? Almost. Um, except I'm stuck behind this lamppost, which is not a good position for me because then my. Timer's all screwed up. Let's summon our dog um, so that... Ah, Aveline! Don't die, don't die. Uh, can we heal? No, we can't. So she's gonna have to pop, which is good. We have a lot of pops here. Come on, girl. Pop, pop, pop for me. Okay, good. Um, okay, let's assess the situation. What's going on here? Uh, we've got a bunch of nonsense. Let's just kill the Templars. Let's kill this other one. Come on, this one's almost dead. Just do it. Um, and this one's almost dead. Uh, where's the hunter? I don't know where it is. Not yet. We should be fine though. There's a few left. As long as... yeah. Okay, so the hunter went on Adley. That's fine. We can still get it. Um, Anders. Anders is on cooldown. Uh, let's put a barrier on Adley here. And let's try to kill this uh, hunter before he disappears again. Of course he pops, because that's what they do. Um, let's see. Let's kill this one, because it's on no health. Let's kill this one, because it's on no health. And this one... Okay, we're doing pretty good right now. I and mean, then these ones have almost nothing left. We need to heal Aveline right now, because she's pretty low. Um, she could probably survive another Hunter attack. Uh, actually, he's right there. Right in front of us. Uh, switch the camera so I can see him. There we go. And can we do anything? No. Let's just pot again. I know it's probably a waste, because we're almost done this fight. Oh, wow, he just disappeared on me. Uh, and then we'll just let everyone do their thing. Wait for the hunter to come back up, who is right there. Okay. So let's see if I can't uh, nuke him down. Here we are. We should probably do a group heal as well because we've got everyone kind of low. There we go. Have a bunch of shiny lights, everyone, and then let's kill him before he disappears. Woo! They will die! I will have every last Templar for these abuses. Uh, okay, well, it's over. You can probably chill out now. It's over, Anders. They're all dead. 
Every one of them will feel justice's burn. Get away from me, demon. I am no demon. Are you one of them that you would call me such? Hey, 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 don't hurt her. Anders, that girl is a mage. We rescued her from being made tranquil. She is theirs. I can feel their hold on her. She's the reason you're fighting, Anders. Don't turn on her now. Please, Monsieur. Baker, no. I almost... If you weren't here, I... I need to get out of here. I don't know if I would call that justice. It's more anger. All right, let's see what we've got from here. We've got some papers, a superior short bow with quite a lot of damage on it, and some robes here. This is for, um, looks like they're... Um, okay, let's read this letter. To Her Excellency, Divine Justina, I am well aware both you and Knight Commander Meredith have rejected my proposal, but I beg you to reconsider. The mages in the free marches are past controlling, their numbers have doubled in three years, and they have found a way to plant their abominations in our ranks. They cannot be contained. The tranquil solution is our answer. All mages at the age of majority must be made tranquil. They'll coexist peacefully, retain their usefulness, a perfect strategy. It's simply the best way to ensure mages obey the laws of men and maker. I remain as always your obedient servants. Yes. So he's going against um, the rules of someone else's bidding. Okay, so now that Andrews has run away, I'm wondering if we can still use him in our party. I doubt it, and I feel like this is a, probably a stupid idea to run this way, because there might be some spiders to fight, and now that we don't have him, it might turn bad. Okay. Yeah. Codex entry, if I can turn that off. There we go. Actually, it was pretty short and talked about some sort of enigma. Sounds like there's a little puzzle that I might have been able to read. And, ooh. Increased magic resistance for Andrews. Great. That's awesome. And then let's see what's in this chest here for me. A superior mace and some more silver. Quite a bit, too. Which is pretty nice. That means uh, we should really stock up on more Lyrian potions. I'm starting to run out. I'm not really sure what gets him, though. Okay, let's venture forth. Hopefully we get to talk to Anders and see what's going on there. Maybe he needs some help with Justice, who, like I said at this point, seems less like Justice and more like you, anger. You saved my life, Monsieur. What was that thing? Uh... He... he's a friend, but... a troubled one. He's no demon. Just a deeply troubled man. Can I... Go home now. Absolutely, you should go somewhere safe. Find your parents, but don't stay there. You must leave Kirkwall. I know. There's nowhere in the city where Sir Ulrich's men won't find me. Thank you, Messer. Andraste herself must have put you in that room. Perhaps. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Andrew, see what's going on. Um, Alone in the dark. And that's how we like it. Okay. I'm kind of worried about him. He ran away. He is very troubled. It must be tough to have a demon in you. Except, yeah, like, I remember in the first game it was talking about, like, oh, it's a good demon, but I'm starting to have my doubts, seemingly, because he gets very angry and wants to kill people. Hey, Andrews, are you okay, buddy? Trash. Trash. Keep. Trash. Trash. What's going on? Won't be needing that anymore. Anders, I found something that you might find interesting. Sir Ulrich's papers. This is all Sir Ulrich had. Looks like the tranquil solution began and ended with him. Let me see that. The Divine rejected the idea. Meredith rejected the idea. This was... Not what I expected. Perhaps I should try talking to the Grand Cleric. Maybe she's more reasonable than I thought. Thank you. I will think on what you said. Okay. Wow, lots of friendship and a thousand XP. Nice. Excellent. Well, that went quite well, don't you think? 
went quite well indeed in my in my opinion. Pretty happy about that. No, we don't. Never get now there's a bunch of other things to do. We also have to talk to a lot of our other companions, so I kind of want to see. But uh, oh, speak to Anders in his face in dark. Oh, we have to speak to him again. I keep forgetting. Like it doesn't sometimes tell us specifically because like there's nothing on the map. It's just we have to consult our quest log, and sometimes I forget even when I'm in the area. See, there we go. I guess we just had to leave and come back. Hey, Anders. Don't come running to me next time you pick up one of these diseases. Isn't that the point of magic? <laughs> um, Isabella, have you been sleeping around? I don't want to know. <laughs> Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. Um, yeah, she really is a safer place. Um, were they after you? The Templars are hunting you. Not me specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. But it's not like this place is a secret. It's only a matter of time. I would suggest a safer place, perhaps. Don't tell me these things. I might have to lock you up to keep them off you. Oh. Sweetheart, I'm not letting anyone lock me up. You included. <laughs> the Knight Commander is out of control. Even her own people have been talking about it. The curfews. The midnight raids on mages' families. Everyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. <laughs> I bet Justice loves it. Um, and how are you handling this? Well, keep you safe. Oh no, thanks. Uh, not right now, anyways. <laughs> I mean, he's alright, but he seems to have a bit of anger issues. <laughs> yeah, how are you handling all of this? Maybe I can help? Is that making it harder for you? With Justice? In the Fade, there is no time. Emotion rules everything. Justice doesn't know how to sit idle until the right moment to strike. And I can't say I have any greater patience. I fear what my anger is made of my friend. Mm -hmm. Um, I was just trying to control it, seem, because it seems to be getting more and more out of hand, as you saw the last attempt was almost problematic you chose to merge with him only you can make it work i am trying i have not attacked the templars openly i've helped the mages here as best i can but this impasse cannot last you're at as much risk as i am that's what i worry what if your money and position aren't enough what if the knight commander turns on you everything i've done to control this i don't care I would drown us in blood to keep you safe. <laughs> well, stay in control. I don't want to see you lose yourself. To the Templars or Justice. How much is left if you strip both those out? I'm sorry. I can't be anyone but who I am. There will be more violence. I know that. If you tie yourself to me, I'll only hurt you. <laughs> Well, promises, promises. Things will happen. And we just have to deal with them when they do. You keep saying that. You haven't yet. I never thought I'd meet another mage like you. Another apostate. Don't tempt me. Not unless you're ready for what that means. I, am I doing the relationship thing with him? Oh, great. Um... Okay, what is this going to lead to? We have to talk to him again, jeez. Anders wants to talk to me a lot. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Putting out milk. I miss having a cat around. But I think the refugees have scared them all off. Or maybe eaten them. You know, I've been meaning to thank you. Having someone like you making a name for yourself in Kirkwall. It's done a lot for mages. You're the kind of leader we need. To tell the world we won't be punished any longer for our maker-given gifts. I miss cats too. I haven't had a pet for almost a year now. It's been, it's been a bit lonely, you know. I've had cats for almost my entire life, ever since I was maybe four years old, so... And then now that I've moved away all on my own, I don't... I can't really afford to have another pet right now, so... I've been without for almost a year. 
it. And yeah, it's just, I like company. I like being with people and living things. And yeah, it can be pretty lonely. Uh, you're the best kind of leader. We need to tell the world that, to tell the world we won't be punished any longer for maker given gifts. Yes. I'm doing it, uh, leader? Me? Really? Uh, I don't know any of these answers. I want ha I want to have an answer that's kind of self-aware. I'm not doing it just for him. Um, this one's kind of coy and this one's just mean. Um, yeah, let's just go with the leader me thing. Who said anything about me leading? I was going to watch. With snacks. <laughs> Mages in this city look up to you. They want what you have. Just knowing you exist is enough to light the fire. <laughs> was the circle that bad? <laughs> Um. Okay. Well, I'm doing it with you, so. Together, we'll win this fight. Your faith inspires me. Sometimes, I fear I cannot do this. Not while I struggle against this vengeance inside me. But I know you won't let me lose myself to him. I'll try. And, uh, is this, what's this friend achievement? Probably like 100%. Happiness. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. That was... I thought we were going to kill someone here. <laughs> well, I think that's going to do it for now. Let's see. Yeah, we talk to him as much as we can. And we can talk to everybody else. So, let's um, add him back to our party. Because we want him to come with us. And it said... Um, it's... Oh, we're almost level 16. Very close. Let's see here. 100% uh, happiness, right? Yes. There we go. Awesome. Yes, Andrews is cool, but I feel like we're kind of heading towards the romance option with him, which I guess I could be alright. He's he's okay. He's probably the, one of the more likable characters, at least in my mind, and um, my character is very relatable to him as being a mage and apostate and things like that, and right now in my life outside of the game, there's uh, similarities where I'm meeting people who are like me, and it is very, very nice, very nice to have somebody you can relate to. So on that note, on that positive note, I will leave you, and I'll see you in the next episode. So do take care, everyone. Hopefully your 4th of July was fun and safe, and yeah. So do take care. Bye-bye.